that timing is going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Start the timer. So, we are starting out the game just like normal, however, we are not going to be collecting any tokens. Because, well, this is going to be quite something. The first parts of the game are going by just like normal. So, right here. Okay. Once again, I had to alt-tab in and out because mouse. Now, here we are at the village and by spamming load game with uh, down arrow and enter, you can warp to different levels, and uh, this is where the area codes are very important. The area code for the village is always VLLG, so we can warp right across levels. And here, like I said in no save warp, this is HK01, and we are back at HK01, in, but in the first level. And of course, the HK01 in the first level is very near to the shrine. And this is an extremely good way to just fast track all the way to the shrine, Without just, like, having to do anything. There we go. Now we are at Shrine 1. And, uh, now... We are going to Shrine 2. Now here we are at GLY 3. Now I save a little too far. So, the game crashed. And now I save off just right. So now we are at GLY 3. In the third level. Now we are here at GLY1. Now I save rope a little too little. So right here. And now we are at GLY1 in level 5. There we go. Now we are at boss 5. And now we are at boss 3. And once again we can use the bug from before. To kill the boss in one hit. Or at least try. Good. Now I hope that uh, the boss is not going to like... Okay. And there we go. And uh, now we kill the boss. Basically this entire thing is just an elaborate setup. Because in order to defeat the game we have to go through the Makuda level. And uh, in... And uh, to get to Makuda's level, we have to go through Tahu's level. And we have to get to ta get through Tahu's boss. However, Tahu's boss has to be activated by uh, Tahu's glyph. No other glyphs can uh, do that. I have tried. Some Only one of them does anything else, and that is uh, crash the game. When uh, activated in place of Tahu's. So... We have to play as Tahu, and to play as Tahu we have to beat Liwa's boss, and you have seen how bad that was in the no save warp run, so... Basically this is just a setup to get more health, such that we can uh, beat Dave, because you cannot do that as Onua. And uh, that is why we are currently in uh, Kopaka's level. So right here, just have to hope that... We get through all of this safely. There we go. Nope. Nope. Good. And uh, now we are going to do the trick that I wanted to do before, which is to enter the LLG4 from behind. There we go. Now we can save warp over to the LLG2. And uh, we see that our masks are restricted. So the masks are always restricted to whichever masks you start to le start the level with. So that's a bit of a like not very good thing. But anyway, we are here save warp too far. Save warps just right. There we go. Now, I wish I could use the Mask of Speed here, but I can't because this is Onua's level, so we are restricted to just the 
Mask of Strength, which we don't have, or which we don't have to use, rather. There we go. And now we are basically going save warping through this the same way as before, so right here to Shrine 2, DOI 3. And it crashed. Four, nope. This seems to be right, yep. There. Nope. Yeah, this this is quite the crashy thing. And here and again. There we go. And uh, now we are getting ready to fight the boss. So, here we go. Dave is here once again. And I am ready to beat him. And there we go, that's one point of damage. There we go. So now we are just fighting Dave just like before. And um, now I'm just hoping that we can get through this, but uh, I don't really know. Our health is not too optimal. It is definitely possible, but I don't know. Yep, he is dying. He is dead. And um, now we are just going through Tahu's level as usual until we get to... Um, until we get to Onukoro, or no, to Takoro, sorry. <laughs> also, for some reason, deactivating the Miru above that one specific platform will kill you. There we go. Now we are going to the village. And uh, once again, I have to save warp over to... No, not to Pohatus. Over to Gali's. And usually, if Pohatu is uh, warped into Gali's level, then he will die when he touches water. Because Sapphire thought that, yeah, they can just have one liquid and have it react differently depending on the character. 
but uh, for some reason that does not happen. There. There. And uh, now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, start positions and uh, what they do, how they work. So basically, every single position that you can spawn into into any area is a specific start position. They all have different names such as uh, STR1, STR2, and so on. And uh, these will be very useful uh, right now. Also, I'm going to use a little bit of a different route this time. There. Yeah, now we can go over to here, and now... Okay. Good. There we go. And uh, now we are right behind the point for uh, TA-14. So now we can just walk backwards past TA-14. And... Um, and uh, get the glyph. There we go. And uh, now we can do this. Save warp once again back to Liwa's shrine right here. Here. And this is all to this is all to manipulate the start position because the start position that is right here corresponds to the start position from behind the boss door. Which uh, is basically what makes this whole trick work because if it would be in front of the boss door then you would have to go through the entirety of uh, Tahu's level. Luckily, you don't have to do that. And um, now it's just the same thing with the Tahu boss as before. And uh, then it's also the same thing with Makuda's level. So, um, yeah. I guess I can talk a little bit about the game. So... If anyone has any questions, or if anyone in chat has had any questions, then please tell them to me so that I can answer them now. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll quickly do this. Yeah. Also, the dragon responds to hits from uh, neighboring stalactites, so that is also a thing. Please explain how this game came to be. That was at the start of uh, the game. That that was at started at the start, uh, or that was said at the s before the run. Basically, game was developed by Sapphire in 2001, cancelled in 2000, and cancelled in 2001. Then some guy named Deep Brick made videos of it in 2010 and uh, leaked it, and uh, leaked videos of the game, not the game. Then in 2018, the alpha was found. Then in uh, uh, February, the alpha was found 2018. Then in April 2018, the beta was found. In May 2018, the beta was released. And uh, that's how this game came to be. Hope that answered your question appropriately. If anyone else has any questions, post them in chat so that I can answer them now. Thanks, no problem. Also, this is going to be like 
way off of the estimate because yeah just improvise the new route on the fly so now I have to wait this cycle and then I have to also wait for the next cycle and the then the dragon is going to be dead here dodging the ball and I did not dodge it and now I just have to hit this final stalactite there we go one two three He is dead. Actually surprised that Lyco kept this. Because they removed the other elements because they, they were quote unquote too violent. I mean, uh, maybe they would have removed that. We don't know. I mean, there was this uh, programmer, Darvel. He made a function where the Rahi would disintegrate into individual pieces after being killed. And when he showed that to the LEGO representatives, he was really proud of the work. And they told him, no, you cannot have that because that is too violent. And uh, it's kind of funny how they then pulled a complete 180 on that. And uh, nowadays, when, for instance, in these Star Wars games that were ran before this, there's things disintegrating into individual LEGO pieces all the time. Yeah, this is Gully, then we have PHTU. Quite frankly, I'm impressed that this has not crashed yet. There we go. Conservation of momentum, again. I think that we are on pace for 17 minutes, approximately. Some more pause buffering. However, yeah. I died in Kopaka, but uh, I'm surprised that this didn't crash, because usually dying that many times after the sound buffers are already filled up to this extent would crash the game. There we go, that was Kopaka, and now we are over to Liwa. There we go, there we go. We are soon going to come up on time. pause about for a little once this section ends there is it's going to be time so get ready We're going to gain some more altitude and uh, now we just have to go through time what was my time Seventeen forty-three. Nice. Ugh. Well, I guess uh, that would be it for uh, my submission to for me. With uh, Lego Fun. Thank you very much for uh, allowing me the opportunity. And um, yeah. Thanks for having me on as a commentator. No problem.